guys, welcome to the Geek Camp Podcast 34. And well, uh, my usual hosts are missing. I think I should I should just get some wanted posters so lost and that in case of emergency just just call me because I don't know where they are. Well, I know where they are, but yeah. Uh, I'm Mac. Uh, this is my big brother here, Tag. And well, just we have a new host instead of Kane here. Uh, well, he was really willing to join us, so well, maybe you can introduce yourself to oh, our viewers. Hi. Well, you can call me Kami. Well, because I'm a Kami. Well, hi. And uh, um, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to see all of you. Yeah. Uh, well, so we. What were you doing? Ah, by the way, did you notice my change of look? Fabulous. Yeah. F -f 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 Fabulous. Is it connected to the the, the, the the Suicide Squad coming out? Maybe, maybe. I'm just just uh, color testing for the right right tone. Yeah, yeah. but you should color your beard also. No, I will. I will shave. I will shave. He wants to spawn a lawnmower on his head. <laughs> I ain't gonna kill you. I'm gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. So you have the golden teeth for it. Yeah, yeah. Bling bling. Uh, tell me, what were you doing? Right. The whole week I was reading Injustice Gone Gods Among Us. Cool, Gods. tell me more. Uh, well, have you heard about Infinity Wars in the Marvel Universe? <laughs> so basically it's the same. They just smush every idea that they have uh, into one big batch and just see what sticks, who dies, who doesn't die. But uh, they, they really created this comic specially for the game, as I know, yeah? Well, yeah, and it's like five years running. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, well, what do you think about it? I did start reading it, not till the end, but when it was still ongoing, uh, I was kind of interested, but I well, could see some 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 pros and cons of the comics, what do you think about it? I think that uh, the heroes lack, lack common sense. <laughs> yeah. Because th th I th thought, that's I a thought general that problem Flash, in comics, you know. Flash would be the guy who will, uh, will side with Superman, because Flash, he is a human with extraordinary powers, not a extraordinary human. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's he's a more human. Uh, yeah, isn't more a human. human with extraordinary powers becoming an extraordinary human by the same logic? Yeah, but he's not extraterrestrial or or a magic being, etc. He's a human, or and a he should side with, with ordinary humans. people. Yeah, that that's why. Because you I... can clearly see in the comics that uh, mortals are on one side, and deities and extraterrestrials yeah. and gods. Uh, gods are on the other side. Yeah, uh, that's 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 a good point. To be honest, I was thinking about that too when I was reading through the, this comic. Uh, yeah, so great, great, and nothing else. Mm, nope. Yeah. Well, tell me what were you doing last week? I was rewatching, rereading, and re-killing myself about the Ghostbusters series. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and the new trailer because. I just, I just went went on YouTube to watch it, and I was like, I was, I was killed by the amount of dislikes. And the first thing I said to myself, the world has changed. Yeah, that's that's. I, I really, I really was in shock. We did talk about that uh, in, on on Facebook when. Just, I am very impressed how people hate the trailer. I didn't see that much hate on YouTube based on likes and dislikes basically forever. Yeah, I, I never did see something like that, so people just fucking hate that trailer. Forever is a small word, because, well, if you compare this trailer to something, to, to some other trailer or some other series, like, it's hated the most. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you remember when the episode 7 of the Star Wars went out, yep. Everybody, there were two sides of the camp. One camp was yelling, "Yay, continuation!" and the other was like, ah, "It's not gonna be good." But this one is so biased. I just, I yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to kill myself because 
you just go to YouTube and, and you see this small, 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 small green stripe of likes. Yeah. And yeah. this big, 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 big red stripe of dislikes. And you're like, Why? what's so Why? bad? Yeah, th- it, it wasn't that bad because... Uh, did you watch the trailer? Yeah, the trailer was good. It was okay. My opinion is why people hate on it because there aren't any characters that are from the original. Uh, but how can you duology. return them? They're uh, old, and one is dead. Well, well for, no, no, no. I'm saying if you put I don't know Bill Murray in there as a mentor, it would be okay. Uh, because with the um, with the animated series, the new Ghostbusters with the teenagers and the crippled guy in the wheelchair. Uh, Ghostbusters Every- Extreme. Extreme, yeah. There was Egon Spangler as a mentor. Yeah, but but it was were- animated. It was animated, but they hated on it because it's not the original cast. Everything new, the, the people just don't, yeah, don't but, like it. But 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 uh, we have a great example of Star Wars that would just. Handy dandy. Well, the we, white, have, we, we have, have a black four guy, a girl, original and characters from the original trilogy. But uh, but we have some sexology trilogy. But 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 we have yeah, some yeah, old characters. Forget about but, all but, the other. but we have some old characters who um die. Yeah, I think uh, first of all, uh, what I wanted to mention. Well, we are talking about Ghostbusters, as you may have noticed. Um, the thing is that first of all, it was announced that. It is sort of a not connected universe. That's why this is the first problem that I legitimately think that uh, haters, well, they have a point. Because the uh, trailer, there are two trailers, the international one is and even better. Yeah, and the American one. Uh, starts with four scientists, or as international one, four friends saved the world 30 years ago. This is weird because uh, the director officially announced that they have no connection with the old two movies. And this is the first problem that I have with that. Yeah, so uh, expecting that there will be a Bill Murray mentor of person of sorts or other, any other, other older uh, characters from the original series is weird because they're telling we're doing our own thing. You know, you know, the I've read the comments section on YouTube and uh, that was horrible. <laughs> and, and don't read and, comment section in YouTube at uh, all ever in general. And I, I I've read the critiques if you can call them such. Uh, what did people not like in the trailer and in the movie overall? Um, first the first thing I saw was stereotypical black people. Oh yeah. The second thing I saw, no car Ecto one. That that was some kind of a curse. Well, well, that's not a problem. I as, as I see it, the th- the third one is females. I okay. I I, ju- I can't see the problem as in having females and uh, <coughs> as as main characters. But uh, well, well, some people got frustrated by it. Okay, let's. Let's take it topic by topic. Okay. The first uh, was that stereotypical black what? people. Okay, uh, Hollywood and movies in general don't know how to portray yep. a person um, to show his ethnical diversity and not to go overboard. Yep. Because if we show, for example, a blue-eyed blonde person with a little Swedish accent, then he will talk about the meat bodies. Or something, or uh, a little dark, ha- dark haired, dark skinned, with a mustache, Italian. He will talk about cannolis and stuff. Yeah, up. and the thing is that uh, you, I think uh, you, that you, you cannot even show an ethnic diversity without some some sort of stereotype, because otherwise it won't be no- noticeable. Uh, great example: a new game coming our way from Blizzard, Overwatch. This is the most fucking diverse ethnically game that I've ever seen. You have everyone, you have Chinese, you have Japanese, you have Koreans, etc. So everyone, and and even Russians, and of course from a Russian girl you would expect a Russian accent, because otherwise there is no reason. 
No, I'm just saying that she is not uh, wrestling with bears and drinking vodka with Well, she is kind of pumped, ding, ding, so... Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Okay, it's... Is she pumped because she's Russian? Is, is she Russian because she's pumped? Yeah, that's the problem. So, so the, 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 there is a problem of the egg and the chicken. So what, yeah. what, what was the source? No, no, my point was that uh, if you portray a person uh, of skin, ethnicity, religion, uh, and if you portray it as a bland person, I would be as a person okay with it because Basically, we're all the same on the inside, yep. pink and... Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of Spanish. Okay. But, I, but I, you have to... But those minorities, uh, if you call them, because we're a majority of minorities, uh, they want to be represented. The diversities. Uh, diversities and... Uh, you want to be represented and their accents, their, their raisins and... and uh, yeah. I, 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 we don't have all day discussing ethnicity. Uh, uh, I think that we should uh, address the biggest elephant in the room here, uh, the girls' cast. Yeah, so, so all the, the core team are all girls. Uh, I have an, yep. uh, another, another, just, just, just another view okay. on that and take. Uh, they are all from SNL, just yep. like the original cast of Ghostbusters. They yeah, are awesome. back to the core, the essence of it is a jokey uh, sort of a situational comedy action movie, and they didn't, they, they could have just taken an SNL cast for of boys, yeah, of, of guys, yeah, but then all the fans will just just be aggravated because you're doing it all over again and you're not bringing anything new. But yeah. Now fans are really raged that you brought in something new, oh my god! But you Jeez. know what was the main critique in the comments that I've seen? I think it's the main critique. Why the hell is this movie not serious like the others? Wait, what? what? It was positioned in the first and in the second movie and in the no, cartoons no, no, as, no, no, as no, no, a comedy. No. As I think that they are saying that the movie is not self-aware. Because, because in the original, in the original duology, they were like with the stone faces. They were serious guys doing wacky shit. Uh, yeah, and here are job. wacky people doing <laughs> wacky shit, and that's not okay. Yeah. And my my last like two sets yep. are because people, uh, the the majority of people have the assumption that girls cannot do comedy. For example, Sarah, Sarah Silverman and Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Aren't getting any praise for their jokes. Yeah, yeah. That's a shame. Uh, yeah, definitely. But just to wrap up, uh, what what's your take on the Ghostbusters reboot continuation, etc.? Do you like? Did you like the two trailers? And will you go see the movie? I love it. I will totally go see the movie because I'm a great fan of this franchise, and. I just want to see the movie because I think just by seeing the trailers it's gonna come out pretty pretty good. So it's better than Pixels. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, a so. question right in my heart. I yeah. just can't. I can't answer it. Please uh, give me my medicine. Yeah. Okay. Tag, your thoughts. We'll see it. Uh... I don't know if I would like it because I think it's too candy coated, sugary Disney stuff. Feel yeah. the power of the patty! <laughs> because, because, in my opinion, the movie about ghosts should be a little bit, a little bit creepy and scary. Mm -hmm. Like the Ghostbusters Extreme yeah. cartoon. It was creepy and uh, it had a creepy soundtrack. Yeah, and what yeah. I think about that, I really enjoyed the trailer. The first one was cool, second one was even better, we saw more shit, and I'm waiting for the gadgets, because back then, in the original era, we couldn't see all the gadgets that could be portrayed. We've I want to see... We've seen the pack. Yeah, yeah. We've several seen, times. We've, we've seen the we, trap. We've seen the trap, but there are even more. There's a fucking ghost bear trap. Come on, guys. Yeah, so... Laser bear trap. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I want to see it for, for their creativity. How will they use the modern technology and modern CG to portray an older franchise? And, and, ride, that's a why and ride a hearse instead of an ambulance. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, that's that's that. I think that's that was cool. So uh, I have uh, another bit of news uh, that on the March 11th there was an interesting event happening. So basically, Blizzard uh, made a patch for Diablo 2. Cool. So uh, a 16 year? 16 year old game got patched in 2016 after five five years yeah they, they, they five years ago they, they did patch it was a minor patch they just just some bug fixing some some hack hack proofing etc but this is kind of weird in well today when a game just just uh, is not supported patch. after after half a year or even a couple of months when they just just developer said no just two months is enough, guys. Let's move on. Cashed in? Yeah, yeah. Move out. This is kind of weird. What Blizzards, do you think, guys? Blizzard, go drunk your home. <laughs> Seriously, because, well, uh, I just can't possibly imagine this patch working because, well, I remember the last patch on Diablo 2, and it was like, yeah, 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 we have no cheaters in Diablo 2 now. And uh, still, after playing playing in some servers and some rooms. I've seen cheaters killing everyone with one critical blow of the Paladin Hammer. And I was like, God damn it, I need to find new people and host my own server. But this is interesting because uh, the games that are patched are played. That's, that's the interesting thing. That uh, in the time when we have fucking forever developing Diablo 3, people still fucking play Diablo 2, that's why they need that patch to prove from the hackers and cheaters. Because patches themselves motivate, like, yep. they, they see the patch, and they're like, oh, yeah, I should, oh, I should, I should play, oh, I should play. They patch one of my favorite games, I should play it again. I see what changed. <laughs> I should compare it yeah. to the last time I played it. Yeah, uh, that's true. That's, that's, that's definitely true. Uh, what do you think, Tag? Uh, maybe you have some other examples of, of games that got patched after ten or fifteen years. Well, I heard that uh, Three Two was patched. Yeah, it, it, it is a good game, and it's kind of cool that they are uh, allocating resources uh, to patch. Yeah, yeah, to support and, and it's more right, of a yeah. fan thing, yeah, because mo most of the games, well, back then it was more easier with modding, but today games are just mod locked, and that's why you cannot fix it. You you just you just cannot because uh, there 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 was a problem with um, um, GDA. It was GDA, but uh, uh, another one, the, the the Dark Souls game, yeah, when fan just rehash the whole game yeah well, it, it's easy to break yes exactly ourselves. exactly and today by the way uh microsoft did announce that they are from now on they are releasing not exe files but apps and basically the it's a no-go for modders and modders won't be able to hack in and change games now that are released on microsoft platform so wait, wait 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 that's, this means that they just can't enter the X file, make a crack into it, and release it as a free mod. So that's a counter piracy measures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mod. But you cannot mod it too. So if you're a good modder but a bad hacker, you still can bypass it. No. Nope. If you are a good hacker and a good modder but a bad program. <laughs> yeah. But oh, it's, snap. it's 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 a, it's a bit side topic. So guys, maybe you have some something 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 to add to the topic. Maybe I've I've remembered that some time ago, some time ago before all overall Steam updates, Valve made some patch notes to Half-Life 2, but they were minor, like so some bug fixing, some exe file fixing, and that that that. But that's not the topic. The, there was a big release. There once was a mod for Half-Life 1 called Spankle. Yeah. Where you could cooperatively with your friends pa pass the plot lines of Half-Life 1, Half-Life 1 Opposing Force, and Blue Shift and various other mods. 
was it a visual patch on, or what? It, it was a community created, it, but it got released uh, as a separate game some time ago. Yeah, and to be honest, uh, Half Life One was co-op, but on consoles. On consoles, but yeah. not on the PC. But on the PC, yes. So, so this this one called, but I think it, it it took them some time to release it. They, of they were, they were of doing course. it for, for some time. Yeah, it was. There was a, a gap of some years be yeah, yeah. before Something they like released seven, it. seven or yeah. so eight years. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. What do you think about HD re-releases? I have I have one that I'm striving for. I just for last whole week I was trying to buy Twilight Princess Legend of Zelda HD with the amiibo and shit and I just I just couldn't take my hand on them. I even I even hold it the box itself in in video game store and the dude that was working sorry boss got it reserved for himself. <laughs> you real <laughs> that was weird. I, I was just, just, just ready to. to In my history with HD re-releases was with Rip and Tangle. Oh, recently. yeah, yeah. Oh, it re-releases. Oh, oh, that's a so, classic. Uh, before I played the HD re-release, I reinstalled the original game with Com some, to compare. Uh, yes, but with some uh, fan patches, so it would run on a newer yeah, yeah, yeah. platform. Yeah. And I compared it and. I must say that they uh, made the backgrounds HD, but the models stayed the same. Oh, yeah. But it is, it is weird because I think <laughs> you know I think it should go the other way. No, uh, <laughs> it's you know harder. The... It's harder to remake the models. You know, it's just like uh, it's harder to buy yourself new furniture when you can just paint the, the paint walls. the walls. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, but but the funny stuff about the HD re-release, there was a switch, you could switch back to the original uh, oh, really? definition, yeah. yeah? See, with all the pixels, with all the stuff, but um, why? You, uh, why? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> why? Uh, but in the HD re release, they didn't uh, refilm the cinematics, yeah. they just stretched it out so it's really blurry. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah. That's, that's ugly, because... Well, the game itself is not that detailed. Come on, they're, the characters there are pretty abstract. It's, it's pre-rendered backgrounds with three yeah. 3D models, but and and the models are not that that well complicated. They're they're quite simple, as I, I remember. I, yeah. I, now I have a question. What would you like to see as a H HD re-release? For example, I would want to see Mafia: The City of Lost Heaven as a HD re-release, because well. Yeah, I've obviously played Mafia too, but it was kind of, well, meh, out of spirit. Just, the plot was interesting, but it was out of spirit. But Lost Heaven, the city itself, the dialogue, the plot, I would want to see it with better graphics. Well, for me, it will, would be MDK, Murder, Death, Kill. I yes. would really like to see it in so HD. So in good. HD with Let's Player, with all the stuff with yes. the vertical yeah. lining and, and everything. This is a one one good game. Uh what I would I have I, I have one wish come true. Uh, it's Fable. Fable one. It was re-released, but it was kinda shitty. But uh, come to think of it, I would really enjoy a rehash of Giant Citizen Kabuto. Do, you, you don't remember that game? Mm, this, is, this is the asymmetric uh, versus game when uh, there is uh, a giant that is basically a base yeah when he just goes through the map there is another team of small spacemen that can build a base and there uh, is a sort of a siren magic things that are just roaming and killing everything and upgrade themselves let yeah, me and guess. This is... Let me guess. Pew pew magic and lasers. No? Yeah, yeah, sort of. But they are aliens, basically. They are all fucking aliens. Alien magic lasers. Yeah, yeah. kinda. Uh, and it's an old game. I remember it because you remind me with them, DK, uh, because it was back then when I was playing both of these games. And I think this one is an original thing, just like um, Evolve. Remember Evolve? Yeah. yeah? So, but more detailed and more developed. Yeah, I think that that would be my choice. So what? 
So, all the choices are done? Yep. So we have like five seconds to finish and no! we'll wrap up. Ah! Okay, okay, let's say thank you to our honorable guest. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Kami. Thank you uh, for coming. Kami. <laughs> <laughs> Kami. 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 <laughs> yeah, thanks for Big Brother Tag to, to, to just backing me up once again. Uh, because, yeah, I'm talking to you, Burp and Eclair. And, well, thanks for watching. Just join us on the next podcast of Geek and Podcast. And see ya! Na 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 Oh, I hope I didn't fail. Yeah, it, it was fine, it was fun. And we actually just did care about fucking topics.